All right, this one comes from Gizmodo. Ancient Roman board game found in Norwegian burial mound. Ancient Roman board game. Now, ancient, meaning, is there like a limit? A 1,007-year-old, 700-year-old board game, including rare elongated dice, dating back to the Roman Iron Age, has been unearthed in Norway. Is that in any way surprising, though, 1,700 years ago? The Romans pretty much ruled fucking everything, right? Yeah, and they played board games. And so with, those it, kind of dice in that picture are the kind that they had in the game of Ur. They're like sticks that there's one side that's blank, and then there's other sides that have... See, the one in the second to the right is blank, <laughs> and then the other ones have different... Uh, like, that's got, yeah. that's a four, a zero, one, two, three... Oh, I see. Four, I see the little five. markings on it, yeah. Yeah. So you would toss those... And they would come up any of these numbers, including zero. Okay. And that's how they would, that's what their dice was at the time. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like those are like token pieces that they would potentially move around on a wooden board yeah. that probably didn't make it. Bend this down a little bit and you won't have to <laughs> like look around at this, the, the, your screen. Oh, this? Yeah. Okay. See, now you can see. <laughs> You've been like hiding behind. I have. Oh. <laughs> oh, no, my look at Jeez. I can see through the screen. My point is, is when I grabbed this, I thought that, you know, this was going to be like way before than we were supposed to find it. But Well, there's games older that we than that that we still play, like the game of Ur and Backgammon. Backgammon. Yeah, right. It's really those, ancient, right? Yeah. Both of those are like the two most ancient games. Really? That hmm. we've ever uncovered. I don't, then I'm not going to bother with this because this isn't telling us anything new other than, ooh, look, we found something pretty. <laughs> it's not surprising in any way, right? Um, I mean, not really. I mean, it, it, the Romans it, from were... a cultural aspect, if they knew ha what the rules of the game were, which is always the thing that's hardest to know, right, uh, how exactly they played the game, you can know some things. Like, obviously, it was dice. There's pieces. You're probably moving them if you're rolling dice. And there was probably some sort of a board upon which you were moving them, right? Right. But the actual rules of the game would give you a lot of insight into the cultural attitudes of the people of that time and place. So just having just having the pieces is not enough. No. You've got to know How you what were the them. rules of the game, yeah. too. Yeah. Because, and if you know that, then that gives a huge amount of cultural insight in terms of what that culture considered to be important in past times. I mean, like, consider how Monopoly is such a big deal in the 20th century and for the reasons why it is, right? Sure, because we sure. can all identify yeah. with that whole economic system to some degree, right? And it would be the same way then, too. You know, is it a war game? Is it a competitive game? Is it a game based on luck? Is there strategy involved? Does the pieces represent soldiers or do they represent kings? You know, there's a lot that you can mm -hmm. figure out if you know. Lesson from Monopoly <laughs> is that you want to be the bank. Yeah. <laughs> That's the lesson and from Monopoly. No other type of player, just a, a, the banker. <laughs> you just, the, the one that wins <laughs> is the bank, really, at the end of the day. <laughs>